What's up guys, TK here, and I wanted to go over a little topic with you guys today about gearboxes, and specifically about changing the springs in your gearbox. I know a lot of people uh, come to the store asking this question, exactly how hard is it to change a gearbox? So we're just going to dive into a few gearboxes right here and just see exactly how hard it is. Alright guys, so here are our two gearboxes, and uh, the reason I have two is just to kind of go over real quick. Uh, some of the things you're going to want to pay attention to before you get into uh, actually taking down the gearbox. So one of those, first and foremost, is tools. You have to make sure you have the proper tools for your gearbox to uh, to actually open it up. And a lot of gearboxes have a lot of different manufacturers have different uh, locking nuts and screws on their gearbox. So for instance, right here, I have a KWA 2GX gearbox. It's basically their version of the version two. Um, and as you can see, it has Torque screws instead of like a Phillips head, and but it also does have a few Phillips heads here at the bottom of the uh, gearbox and at the front. Uh, not exactly sure why they decided to go with two different styles, but they did. So you're gonna want to make sure you have the right size um, torque screws for the top, and then uh, the Phillips heads for just those two screws there. And then most other uh, manufacturers, this is a VFC for example, are a little bit more simpler to keep it a little easier and simple to uh, work on. So these are going to be all uh, Phillips head screws. So we're going to open up this guy uh, since it's I only need one tool. It's just a little easier. Um, so and also, so when you're going to you're going to start by unscrewing the gearbox. So once you have it out your gun, uh, there are many ways to take it out the gun. Uh, each gun is different, but uh, once you have it at this point it's pretty universal so you want to go ahead systematically and unscrew the uh or loosen up the gearbox that's hold shell the that the screws that are holding the shell together there we go we got it okay um i like to do it a certain way i like to kind of go in a certain pattern uh so i just like to start at the front i loosen that up a little bit and then I go to the back, I loosen that up a little bit, and then I systematically go around the bottom, and then I do the top row in a uh, in order. And that, for me, I just like it that way, just because um, when I'm actually taking them out, I have a I array them in a certain pattern, so I know which screws go back where. Uh, quick tip: when you're first taking out the screws, they can be pretty tight. So to avoid stripping out your screws, what, you're, what you want to do is make sure you press really hard inside the, uh, the actual screw itself before you turn and you want to add a lot of pressure and that way you'll, you're having maximum contact from the driver to the screw base and you'll keep stripping to a minimum. So I'm using a KWA mat here. Uh, when I take apart my guns, I kind of like to have things organized in a separate, their own little separate part pieces. So I usually put all external mounting hardware on one side of the mat and then all the internal hardware on the other side. That way I know which side is which and which side the screws come from so I can't get them mixed up. And then also when I'm actually taking apart the uh, gearbox, and taking the screws out, I like to keep them arrayed in such a way that it's similar to how they lay when they're on the gearbox shell itself. So for instance, so that front piece, that front screw was right there at the front of the gearbox. So that's gonna be over here. And then this bottom screw will come out. And that last screw was the back. So I put that on the same level as it was on the gearbox in the same line. And then, so this this one I know is goes below these two. And then the same kind of concept. This guy. So now these three screws, I know that they go, this one's in the back, this one's in the middle, and this one's in the front, and they're all the middle row. And this is my bottom screw. And then it's pretty, the same, pretty much the same thing for the top screws. All right, so now once you get to this point, this is the part where most people get really annoyed and scared about taking apart their gearbox. 
Uh, reason being that there is a lot of tension underneath the hood here. Uh, you've got your main spring that's pushing up against both sides of the gearbox pretty much, but specifically the back. Um, and then you have little springs inside that are holding down like the anti-reverse latch or the trigger spring. All that stuff is under tension. So when you take apart the shell, you'll be, you wanna be very careful um, and not, not to just let everything fly out. So one way that I've learned to do this, most gearboxes have this little cutaway hole window here. Now I like to use that as a little added, uh, added leverage so first and foremost this is what you're going to want to do to hold down your your spring ride you want to take a small driver or a screwdriver or something like that you want to stick it in the back here and then you want to press down and that what you're doing is you're putting on you're putting pressure onto the actual spring guide so that when you take off the top half of the shell it doesn't fly out completely and send things and gear send gears and stuff shooting all over the place um and they can be a little tight so that's why you kind of want to use this as a little leverage window but if you can't fully get that out there is other ways i like to take like a flathead screwdriver or something and wedge in between the cracks and just kind of get get it loose a little bit let's see i can actually just use my nails but yeah, you wanna make sure that you loosen up across the board and see how that just popped right off. Now you can see the spring actually arced. It actually was trying to jump out, but because I held it down with the uh, spring guide, it didn't. So then you wanna put your thumb over that and then gently lift up on the spring guide while pushing forward, you wanna push in. And then you should be able to slowly release it out and there's no drama now once you're at this part it's fairly simple from here so I take out my old spring pull out my new spring put that on the spring guide put her on in there so when you take apart your gearbox, you do want to make sure that everything goes back the way it did. And I just noticed that my tappet plate actually came loose. So you want to make sure that that goes back on there properly. Boom. I like to kind of have my gears set to where they're right before they engage the piston. So sometimes I'll rotate the gear set to be uh, out of the way of the, of the piston. That way can, everything can lay flat. And now once we're at this part, it's pretty much everything is reversed. You want to hold this down. Now this gets this is the part where it becomes a little finesse so this is how i hold my gearbox with my pinky through the uh, spring window and my index finger through the cylinder window um, and my two other fingers resting on top and this is why so when i put it over i want to kind of mirror the top and let my two fingers take over the job that my other hand is doing and then slowly glide it back on into place. And see, this is a case where there's something not lining up properly. I have a feeling it's the spring guide. All right guys, so pretty sure I figured it out, sorry about that. But this is one of the reasons why it's very important to make sure everything is aligned. So you wanna make sure your shims are aligned, check those they can come undone especially if you have a lot of lube in there uh, you want to make sure your uh, trigger guide or your spring guide is aligned there are two fins usually that are on the back they go into either side of the gearbox shells and then once again be very careful 
about putting everything back at the same time with the equal pressure. Make sure everything's lined up. Should go in fine. Oop, boom, there it is. And then from there, like I said, uh, like I said before, this is kind of why I like to have my uh, screws arrayed in such a way so I can know exactly where to put them back when I'm done. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful and see you next time.